everyone welcome back to my channel today we're doing a builder gel hard gel fresh full set i'm really excited to do this i haven't had i haven't done like a full gel set in a while usually it's like a manicure so i was really excited by uh, about doing this set so we're also doing a spring graduation design very simple so sleek and cute she showed me two of her dresses that she'll be wearing so we had to coordinate with her outfits and if you guys haven't checked out my other video with um my most recent video of the nail drill i was in search of a, a of a new e-file nail drill and the this one right here you guys is the best it handles multiple clients i have my search is over basically <laughs> i found my new cordless e-file I will leave the link in the description box if you guys are looking for something cordless and you're tired of all the wires but you need that e-file strength as if it was with some wires and cords so yeah i'll leave that in the description box so i'm going to begin by prepping and cleaning everything and then i will dehydrate and begin the hard gel or builder gel application and then we will also get into how to transfer your foil completely in one clean application open up a bottle and baby you can have whatever you want you taste so sweet i can't help myself you like candy you like liquid honey you taste so sweet i can't help myself you like candy you like liquid honey you like liquid honey you like liquid honey Okay, so now I am applying my rubber base and I always apply my rubber base under any type of builder or hard gel. Hard gel especially because most builder gels come, they're able to be soaked off so they're much softer. And then hard gels are the ones that, that can't be soaked off, they have to be filed off. So the one that I'm using now, which I did not get a chance to post, I will link it in the description box. It is a hard gel, so it does require to be filed off. So I apply this rubber base to file off so the nail has, I'm sorry, so the nail has a protective barrier in case I need to file off or start over. Or if my client just wants to soak off her nails, um, the rubber base is perfect for that. That's why I, I apply my rubber base. Now I'm gonna begin with my slip layer, which is a very thin layer of that builder gel or hard gel and it kind of just guides the hard gel where to go without flooding into the cuticle this is very important for me um it pretty much does all the work for me because this gel just self levels itself so a slip layer for me is extremely important
Okay, so here what I'm doing is I'm applying primer to only the two nails that I'm going to do a solid color on. And the reason why I'm applying the primer is because it gives extra adhesion only because the polish that I'm using is normally used for only nail art. I've... Um, and I, I don't usually put it on a full nail as a color, but we needed the perfect blue and it just so happened the blue that I had was a nail art blue. So I applied the primer to give it extra adhesion so this nail art blue or this color doesn't chip off or anything like that.
Okay, so two main keys I've learned to have a full and complete foil transfer is definitely the brand. I'm sorry, three. <laughs> First, you want to get a really good brand. And Beatles Nail Art Foil Glue is my go-to. I also, I also have the McCart. And that one is okay. But Beatles is my main one for some reason um i will eventually use my mccart at some point but so the brand and then second you want to make sure your curing time is accurate so i have an 80 watt uv led lamp and i only need to cure for 30 seconds my other lamp that i had that was around in the 40s or 50 range I only cured for i had to cure for 60 seconds and i had to find that out by experimenting um, with different lamps because you know the 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 strength of the UV um, is they're not all the same so I definitely had to experiment and that's what I've learned and then third key is rubbing you gotta rub 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 use your fingertip and kind of roll all that on there use your fingernail to you know get the creases you don't have to go you don't have to apply like too much pressure if you do too much pressure you will rub it off as in like you're gonna move the, the 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 picture around you know the foil around and you don't want to do that you just want to just kind of blot rubbing motion pressing uh you can use your fingernail to get the little creases of the area and then when you're pulling off you want to pull off slowly but sorry that's my client is about to be here is here actually um but the key is just to make sure when you're peeling off you want to get all those creases and everything off um everything nice and smooth and if you have a part that came off like you just seen there you just press again and that's it so that's today's video let me know what you guys think and stay tuned for the next one